Hello, it's Markham my Torch Chip, Markham 3D, and we're going to make a little bit of a game level I've been working on. I just got to really push myself to get through this last little bit. So what I'm going to be doing is at the end of this puzzle here, there's going to be kind of like a uh, a bank vault type room, and that's the room that I want to create now. So what I'm going to do is do it all in Blender, and then break it apart, then bring it over to Unreal. So this will probably be a very short stream. Um, but we'll see how we go from there. All right, so let's go into Blender and we will use this door frame as a reference. So I'm just gonna grab these three pieces and hold control to snap that in place. And so I know my scale, so Shift D, rotate Z, 180. Why is that off? Control Z. And that's around the pivot point. Shift D, rotate 180, there we go. Let me just turn on screen capture just in case somebody wants to see what I'm doing. So this would be our room. Let me just move all this stuff out of the way. GX, it's not gonna be that big. Okay, so how high are our walls? Let's have a look. Just trying to find my, one of my wall pieces. This is a wall piece, so we'll grab this for reference as well. Hold control, so it snaps. And why is that not snapping in place? We go into item, let's check our location. Location should be two. There we go. Beautiful, so we see our height. Shift S, cursor to, cursor to world origin. Let's create a meh, uh, plane. And what this will be is our wall. So I'm just gonna kind of snap this in place. Let's grab this edge. G, and it looks like it's probably about 2.5 meters high. There we go. Good, so that's our wall piece. So I can now get rid of this. GX, and so everything I make will be kind of off this wall. Actually, what we will do is move it forward point one. GY, what is going on? Move it point forward point oh two. Why is that? That's not right. Where's this one sitting? Mind you, it doesn't really matter. All right, we can go back to point 01 and I'll just set it up so that this bit here, there's a special piece that joins this together. So from here, what are we doing? We are going to duplicate these two like this way. And I've got snapping involved. I've got snapping enabled. Shift D, rotate Z 90 degrees. And we will place that here. Rotate 180. So now it's sitting like so. Oh my goodness. I do want this room to be kind of epic. Just kind of like a, a final boss without the final boss. And so all these walls. Well, that's a bit too big. I think that should be a good size. And then what I'll do is select all this, Shift D. Let's go rotate 180. And that's doing individual origins. So we want to go to medium point, actually 3D cursor. Rotate 180. Okay. Mr. Kadad, welcome. And what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to throw another doorway on the other side. So this is going to be kind of a bit of a joke doorway. In the middle here, there's going to be uh, like a, a pedestal that'll be holding something very special. So now let's kind of deck out what would be in this. It's going to be kind of like a vault. So definitely there's going to be drawers. They're not going to be interactive. So let's just start working on that. So from here, 
I'm going to duplicate this plane. And what I'm going to do is move it ever so slightly. From here, I'm going to put in some bevels. I mean, um, edge loops. Let's go like this. And we will delete some of these. Delete. Uh, oh, sorry. Delete edge loop. So we've got some big ones and we'll put some small ones around as well. And we'll do the same thing what we just did here. Um, let's get rid of this one, this one, this one, this one. Delete edge loops. I will select this face, control L. Let's do a bevel, control B. And just move it out a little bit. Delete faces. So now it's kind of like our boxes here. I'm going to select the back face, control L to select everything that's linked and control I to invert that selection. Um, let's scale down on the Z axis. Now it's going off the origin point because I'm all the way up here at the pivot point is. So let's change that to the medium point. Scale Z, GZ, and let's just scale that in Z's a little bit Z's. Let's E to extrude. I think these boxes are a bit too far out, so let's bring them back in. What would look cool is putting numbers in all these boxes, but you know what, stuff that. Delete, sorry. We come back on this back face. Let's select all these. B, delete faces. What do we got? So, that's not too bad. I think what we need to do is kind of make handles that go on these. So let's just grab one of these faces, shift D, G, Y, X. And we will kind of make just a small handle just to give that little bit of depth. And these will all come about here-ish. How does that look? Let's make that bigger, G, X. Um, let's come here and let's do just a bevel, just kind of sort of st sticks out like that. Now I'm not too worried about the poly count because this is a relatively small level. Mind you, it's going to blow out. You know what? <laughs> let's undo that. Technically, I could probably do a height map or a normal map, but I think it'd be nice to have that depth. So I'm just going to leave it as a square box. From here, I'm going to do Control L, P to separate by selection. So now this object here is independent of this. And because of the way we've designed this, we can do something super lazy. Let's select our box. Let's go Shift D Z. And I'm just going to free ball this and line these all up. And then what we're going to do is I'm not going to duplicate it sideways. I'm just going to set up an array that won't work, will it? Kind of will work. So let's go array modifier and we'll go the other way. About here. That is good enough. Let's select all this. Shift D to duplicate, P to separate by selection. Let's grab one of these selections, G, Y. And we'll plop that in the middle there. Bring the count down, not the show. And we've kind of got this. Nice. Let us apply that array modifier, that array modifier. Let's now select these three. Control J to join. And so now we have it. So let's just start kind of replicating this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Delete. And so it's kind of like a bank vault now. Why? How does that look? That doesn't look too bad. Oh, it's a lot of boxes. Do we want that though? 
Let's do yes for that. Next thing I'm going to do, shift S cursor to world origin. I'm going to kind of make a table or a bench. So we know that this box is two meters by two meters in Unreal. So let's bring it down GZ.5 minus. So it's about a meter and a half. That's probably a little bit too high. GZ.25 minus. So now it's a meter, 1.25 meters. That sounds pretty good. Let's make this table size X.5. There we go. So we got a two meter table by um, 1.5 meters. That's not too bad. Let's add a little bit of gusto. Duplicate this. I'm going to scale it out and bring it down. And that seems to be a bit in the floor. GZ1. There we go. Let's just create a floor plane just so we can see what we're doing. I think that table is way too high. Let's grab everything. Control L. Come to side view. Select this stuff. GZ. Meh, about there. And we will leave it at that. Yeah. Come thing, I probably should have left it, but eh. From here, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So I've got a table. Uh, I want a pedestal. Is what I want. Let's. And I think we might follow what, what we did earlier. I'm going to go GZ. E to extrude. I'm going to scale this out. And let's get rid of that bottom face. Delete faces. And I'm just going to kind of like add in a bit of bevel. Oh my goodness, what is that? I miss the vertices. I miss a lot of vertices. Let's grab these two, size Z zero, GZ. Oh, I hate you so much. Hang on, what have I done? And let's grab them, delete face. Crisis averted. GZ. And let's grab around the edge there, GZ. Yes. Okay, now let's make a pedestal. And one thing I've done is I've moved in edit mode this all the way off. What? Let's go realign that up. Let's get rid of that tabletop there. I'm going to get rid of this. Actually, what I'll do, move that up and delete this face. Control L. It's off center. That's the problem. Control L, delete vertices. Let's E to extrude on that and we'll do what we did before. Let's hold shift to move down slightly. Let's scale it out. Do one more extrude down. Select the base, Control B. There we go. I do kind of like that idea. I feel that having a solid table like that in a bank vault probably not the best idea but let's you know what, let's just get with it scale gz e to extrude eh. so as i was saying before i have moved the mesh from the origin point so when i import this into unreal engine it's going to be well off but we have to reline everything up anyway with the origin point because if I were to leave, if I were to just export this as is, that's the way it would come in. So this, for instance, this wall here, the origin point would still be here even though I'm using this mesh. Um, so if we come over to, for instance, in Unreal, we can see that the origin point for every piece is the same. And that's because it's 
the one piece and that's where I've set the origin. So for instance here, I know it's gonna rotate around the center. Others prefer it uh, on the corner. Um, obviously if you're working in a bigger studio, you know, that's, that's um, like a global choice, but because I'm just kind of mashing this together, that's what we've got at the moment. Um, from here, we've got tables is all I wanted. I'm just gonna put in two tables. Am I gonna be putting a puzzle in here? I don't think I will. I kind of, at this point, we've got three puzzles. Um, let me, I'll, we'll quickly play it, why not? Um, I haven't set up the lighting. At the moment, there are three colors up there. Um, there's a button over here on the left. There's a button here on the right. Yep, that's fine. Sorry, I thought I broke it all. And then it's all about getting them green. We come in here, we can't walk through a blue wall, but there's a blue box we can change. Uh, we can come in here, we push this button. It enables one of the lights up there. Come into here. Nothing happens. Oh, there we go. Come into here. We've got another light. What have we got? Green door, red box. Let's go into the red box. Da -da -dun, and a green box. And so these kind of like flip colors. Let's come around. There's another button, another box. Come through. Another button, green box, hang on now, I'm lost. Am I, yes. And then we push this button, come back through, all three lights, door is open, sensors are spinning. Um, this, these lights we created on a lot, um, created in a tutorial a couple of days ago. Those cones seem to be in the wrong spot and I got caught. I think what I might do is I initially had like a hydration bar, I get stuffed at a hydration bar. Not sure if I'm going to keep that. Do I just put a whole bunch of drinking fountains through the game? Mm, not sure. But anyway, that's what the game pretty much is. Obviously I've played it quite a few times because I designed it. And so what we're creating is this end room in here. Um, and this is where we've got to pick up the main object. Jeez. So from here, I'm going to add in a pedestal. Let's go G and it's just going to kind of sit in the middle. <laughs> I know it's kind of silly to have the main thing in a bank vault, not secure, but I'm not too fast. Okay, E to extrude. Let's scale it out like I did just before. Control B. That's going to be annoying because the bounding box is going to be a little bit silly. So let's just kind of do this. Not have so many. Um, what else could we do? Just thinking. Hello, Jake. Welcome, buddy. So for the view, for view, for those of you who are new, welcome. There is one no idea how to use it. Um, I've tried to play with it, but I just could not get it working um, as well as I liked. So I'm, it's just as easy for me to just export as selected and then uh, put it into the scene. From here, let's make a kind of like a cloche area. Let's do control B to put in a bevel. And then I'm gonna press numpad minus G, Z, kind of to make this effect. Let's push this down. And I'm gonna do a bevel just around the edge, just so it's not so harsh. Let us shade smooth. I've got caps lock on. And that is yuck. However, we can come over to the data of the object, go into normals, auto smooth, and that's fixed up the base. Um, let's bump this up to about 45. 
I think I'm missing something. I reckon it should be maybe in here. Control numpad, scale that in. Just kind of want a bit of a groove or something. I'm just thinking, I do actually like that. Um, what I might do is actually bring this and this in. Scale with S, Shift, Z. So it's on the Z axis. And just gonna bring it in just to make the pedestal look a little bit better. Yes. Now, what are we gonna do? The floor, what are we gonna do for the floor? Do I just have a simple floor? Let's select our current floor. Let's delete our current floor. Shift A, add in a plane. G, and hold control to move uh, to snap it along. Now I've got sci-fi panels outside, but I don't want sci-fi panels on this one. Let's go into the renderer. Let's go into kid ops. Where's my kid ops? I'm just going to use kid ops just to put something on the ground. Oh, maybe a stone texture. Sandstone floor. Make this. Oh my. Mm. Mm. Let's do this. Uh, click to import. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see an array to see what that looks like. Um, repeated. Not bad. And we can duplicate this. There's a duplicate button somewhere. No. Yes. No. Copy. Nice. And let's do it like this. What does that look like? Duplicated. Nice. I'm leaving that as is, so that's going to be my material. Where's this array? So there's my floor. Here are my tables. Let's see, what can we do with the tables? Do we have a nice marble la di da table, a white marble? So I'm going to hold control. Uh, <laughs> it almost looks like, a, um, like an altar. Let's not do an altar. Maybe a wood. No, let's go. Control L to select that. Let's go into a second material and control I to invert the selection, assign it to this and we will go a wood. Flooring, plywood, planks, planks. Cork. <laughs> Cork in a bank vault. Hilarious. Hold control. Okay, let's go back and we will go um, create the material again. What was this one? This one was a marble. This one here will be our wood. Now, is that the woods at the wrong angle in the material. Let's see if we can quickly go into the material and change it by 90 degrees. Is it gonna be that simple? It was not. So let's just quickly add in a mapping node. Throw that in. Rotate. Let's take a guess, 90 degrees. 90 degrees? Ooh, 90 degrees? No. Dang it, Bobby. All right, so we can't do it that way. And now I've broken it really well. <laughs> so let's, um, what we'll do is then UV unwrap it. Now, did I delete the bottom face? I did not. So let's quickly delete the bottom face delete faces is this one deleted as well delete faces so now I can select these four faces control E mark scene control L U smart UV now let's just go unwrap and let's have a look what our UV looks like are they facing the right way they sure are and they're facing the correct way now 
Let's go. So what I'm going to do is try and line them up. I could use. Let's use cube project. Ooh. What are these pieces? They're from the side, maybe. Um, let's just quickly jump over into. What? Ah, that's because if we go into shading, let's change that to UV. Why? Why, 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 why? Why are you being a jerk now? It is UV unwrapped. It is Q project. Ah, future Marco's problem. Um, I think I'm going, I'm just going to leave it there for now and I'll come back to it later. Um, yes, so that's going to be very simple. Literally walk through. Good day, Brian. We literally walk through the level, pick up the object on this pedestal, and then continue out, and that's going to be the end of the game. Um, so I'm going to leave it there for the live stream. Thank you very much for coming. This project will be available on Gumroad, hopefully within maybe two weeks, so you can download all the assets, um, all the blueprints and all that, and you can design your own level. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'll be releasing that information, uh, the information for that a little bit later. Um, but thank you very much for coming. I know it was a very short live stream. Um, and yeah, until next time, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps you up to date with the content. And please share this video or something. Uh, apparently 98, uh, sorry, 89% of viewers aren't subscribed. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Jamal. Um, and see you later.